So the core theme of this deck is you play Hog Leader, you play Daring Reporter, and then to synergize with those you go for Cold Light Oracle and Naturalize. And then along with that I've kind of developed a pretty standard looking token druid shell with a little bit of beast synergy with like Enchanted Raven, Spirit of the Saber, Mounted Raptor, and the Mark of Yasharaj. And this deck actually seems like it might be a legit deck, or something close to it might be a legit deck. I'm currently 14 and 7 with it. I'm not at like the most competitive ranks, but it feels strong. When this deck gets a good draw, when you get like a turn 1 coin innervate daring reporter, the game is just over. Like how, do the, how does anyone deal with that? Unless they're shaman and then they hex it, or they're priest and they have shadow or death, but they have to have those cards. Um, to be fair, a lot of the games I played haven't necessarily been against the best decks, so maybe it's just because it's early season at low ranks, people don't really want to play too much aggro shaman or too much pirate warrior. But I am 14 and 7, and 14 and 7 is a win rate that you have to look at and be like, eh, maybe this is actually a thing. And on top of that, the deck is actually pretty fun. I probably want some more aggressive cards than the Cold Light and the Naturalize. There are a lot of ways I can play this hand. I can coin out the Druid of the Saber, or I can Innervate out the Mounted Raptor, or I guess I could do nothing this turn. But I think I want something on the board so that I can play a Mark of Yasharaj next turn. I think I want to coin out this guy. I'm very happy to see a Power Word Shield there. I was a little worried he might play a Wormrest Agent. And then this guy would get traded off into. But he gets to kill the 2-5 very easily. Once upon a time. I think I'm going to play Mounted Raptor. I could Innervate out the Daring Reporter, which would probably be pretty difficult for him to deal with. But I lose one mana from the Innervate, which I'm not crazy about. I think this is a... Wrath Daring Reporter play. That's not a very exciting one drop. Um, I don't think I can give up this 5 damage to protect him though. If he can't kill the Daring Reporter this turn, which would probably be a little bit difficult for him. I don't know, I guess he could have Excavated Evil here. Maybe if I was thinking about Excavated Evil, I should have traded my 5-2 into the, uh, the Nether Spite. So the swipe looks really good here, but if I really want to, I can Cold Light Naturalize and hit him for a lot of damage. So I can make this guy do 9 this turn, which means I can hit him for 14, put him down to 6. Yeah, let's go for that. This is maybe unnecessarily risky. but it's exciting. And it was pretty nice that I picked up the Living Roots. Now I have 7 burst, or I guess only 6 burst next turn since I want a mana to hero power. This is really tough for him to deal with. Wow, could not have asked for a better Daring Reporter game. I really want something for turn two. My turn two is looking pretty weak here. Enchanted Raven, Living Roots, Druid of the Saber, Mark of Yasharaj, Power of the Wild. All of those are good draws here.
This is a pretty weak opener. Hands like this are the risky run for playing a deck like this. Alright, let's get this reporter out. And then the Mark of the Lotus is pretty nice here. Makes my reporter a little bit more difficult to kill, and it keeps my Raven out of hero power range, which it looks like he wanted to do this turn. Let's go ahead and test for the secret. I'm actually really tempted to play Living Roots and then naturalize one of them, because this thing will be in fireball range next turn, and if I get it up to an 8-8, Seems like it should be pretty hard for him to deal with it. But I'm not sure that giving up my naturalize this early is a good play. I'd put him down to 15. I would probably be able to pop his block with Savage Roar next turn. And then he'd be on 5 mana, wouldn't be able to play Reno. He has coin though, right? I think naturalizing one of my own dudes is a little bit too ambitious. It's not even all that likely that he even has the fireball here. Cool, he didn't have it. If I Savage Roar, that gives me 6. I'll have 13. I actually can't even pop him this turn. Most I can do is Savage Roar, which gives me... 13, and then I could naturalize my sapling to give me plus 2. So I'm definitely not going to go for that if it doesn't even kill him. I'm still in a pretty solid spot. This reporter is getting out of hand. This might be a game where I pop his block next turn, he renos, and then he dies. You have to remember to throw out the thanks when they draw a card on their turn, or when they voluntarily draw a card. So I can easily pop him here. If I naturalize this thing, it allows me to pop him at less than 7 without spending a Savage Roar. So I think I am going to naturalize it. This thing is going to be 11-11 next turn. Plus the naturalize makes him overdraw. I could have popped him at 1 if I wanted to charge my Druid of the Saber, but I don't think I wanted to do that. Oh, that Ice Block was actually off of a Babbling Book. Oh, he lost the Blizzard, that's so bad for him. Although if he had played Blizzard here, he would have died. But yeah, this Ice Block was off of a Babbling Book, so he can still have another one. He's either dead or really close. I'm showing 18. I'm pretty sure this is lethal. Wow, that was gross. Malfurion versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. I must protect the wild. If I had Innervate, I would totally keep it airing, reporter. I would keep Mark of Yasharaj if I had an Enchanted Raven, but not without, I don't think. Oh, there's my Innervate. Um, I'm not even sure if I really want to play Living Roots here. They'll probably get in a few points of damage, but it's less stuff that I can do with my Violet Teacher. I think it's probably worth it. Playing these dudes now. Um, if I don't play them now, I probably have to wait at least two more turns. And he's not going to have great ways to deal with these, so I'd probably just miss out on some damage. Well, the Cleric is kind of an answer to these guys. But, this is where I just innervate out my Daring Reporter and punish him for drawing. Although, with the Mark of the Lotus, the Violet Teacher looks a little bit more appealing. I don't really have any other spells though. Like, what am I doing next turn? Hero Power Mark of the Lotus? I won't even be able to kill this cleric that easily. 
I mean, I guess I will with Violet Teacher plus the other 1-1. One, one. This thing will be a 5-5 five, five next turn, assuming he heals his Cleric. Then I just one-shot it. Uh, I feel like the Violet Teacher is better. It's disappointing, but it just seems better with the Mark of the Lotus in my hand. Hopefully I pick up, I don't know, Power of the Wild here or something. Naturalize. I can be really aggressive if I naturalize here. It gives me an extra 2-2 two -two and it lets me push face damage. Not sure it's really worth it though. Although if I do play naturalize, he's still a couple turns out from a good AoE as Priest. So that 2-2 two -two should get in a lot of damage. Alright, let's naturalize. Even though I don't have a naturalize to deal with a minion, it gives me another 2-2 on board, which can help me trade into stuff which can protect my Violet Teacher or my Daring Reporter. Um, I think I do play the Daring Reporter here. Let's see, if I trade Violet Teacher in here, she goes down to 3 health. But he's already coined. There's no AoE that deals with the Violet Teacher. Do I even trade? Do I just 10 face him? What's the punish for leaving this 3-5 on the board? Turn 4 against Priest. Say I put 6 damage into this. I'll have 8, 12, 15 damage next turn. Let's just punch him. I feel like the 3-5 just doesn't really do much here. Pretty sure he's dead if he used 2 mana on that. Um, not quite. I think I'm 1 off. I think that's lethal. So this is 4 into here, I have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow, turn 5 lethal. People ask me why I hate Druid. It's because you draw Innervate and then things like that happen. Okay, I finally queued into a Shaman, so this should be the real test. Is Power of the Wild worth keeping just to play as a 3-2 on turn 2? My deck actually doesn't have that many good turn 2 plays. I am on the coin though, and I can always draw into Innervate plus bullshit. I feel like 2-2 two -two into 3-2 is just not strong enough against Shaman, but 2-2 two -two into nothing is certainly not strong enough against Shaman. I'll keep it. It might not be correct. Do I coin the panther here? If I play the enchanted raven and he has any overload, he just kills it. But the most likely overload for him next turn is probably Jade Claws, which just deals with the power of the wild. But then I guess I Wrath. That's not really great. He still has the initiative with a weapon in play. I can play enchanted raven here. If he plays the claws, he just kills it anyway. I save the coin and then I just Wrath it. I guess I just play this thing. If he does play like Totem Golem here, I can hero power this thing down, I guess. This game is already off to a pretty rough start. Living Roots is actually okay at dealing with this board. If he's forced a weapon into one of them, I'm pretty happy with that, I think. And as long as he doesn't have Maelstrom Portal, a couple trades should happen. Or at least one trade should happen. He doesn't want to trade, so I can drop a Mark of Yasharaj on this guy if I want. It doesn't feel great using the Mark on a non-beast. 
So maybe I just play it on Enchanted Raven instead. I feel like everything I do here is kind of bad. Living Roots is okay. If he ignores my 1-1s, one which I think is pretty likely, I can drop a nice Power of the Wild next turn. Wow, he's trading into 1-1s. One it's kind of weird. I hate giving him cards, but I need cards myself. wonder if I play Savage Roar here. Let's me kill both of these things. I do have to take 4 damage, which I'm not thrilled about. I could also go Mark plus Naturalize. I save 4 health, keep a win condition, and don't give him cards. Or I do give him cards instead. It also just makes my board a little bit better overall, since at the end of this turn this guy will have a uh, 3-3 stats instead of 1-1. One, one. And I do have the second naturalize if he has a 7-7 seven, seven here. Pretty happy to see that turn start with the hero power. Hopefully he plays Flame Wreath and I draw Daring Reporter. I feel like that's a line of play that could actually let me win this game. That's pretty scary. Probably too hard to recover from. I don't even really know what I'm doing here. I guess this is okay. Do I have to naturalize one of these things? I feel like I kind of have to. He just has so many cards and I haven't been able to get in any damage. Plus I might just be dead here. I did have a pretty bad draw that game though. <laughs> 